This camera might not be the best camera I've ever used, but it's by far my favorite. These are just a couple clips from the camera that I take everywhere with me daily. I use this camera more than any other camera I own, and I might possibly have the most fun with it. It's simple to use, jam-packed with features, and it's cheaper than what you might expect. It's a cinema camera. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's the camera I'm actually shooting with right now, the Sony ZV-1. And it's my favorite camera on the market right now. I've shared so many videos using this thing, and people are always surprised when they ask what camera I used, and it's literally a point-and-shoot camera. I mean, about half of my Instagram and TikTok is shot from this. So let's get some specs out of the way. This is a 4K video and photo camera. It has a 24 to 70 millimeter 1.8 lens on a one inch CMOS sensor. It can shoot 1080p and up to 120 frames per second and up to 960 frames per second in lower resolutions and bursts. It has image stabilization along with gyroscopic video data and all the Sony color profile formats. It has a flip out screen, mic jack, built in ND filters, a hot shoot, the best autofocus I've ever seen, and oh yeah, it fits in your pocket. Now, online, this camera kind of got a bad rep. I mean, I watched a lot of reviews of people calling it a beginner camera and just throwing all the settings in auto and using the stock picture profile. And then they say it looks like trash. This camera has some insane features for something this small and cheap. And if you take some time to seriously hone in your settings and customize the camera in a way that works for your workflow, this thing can have incredible results. Also, people online claim that you couldn't vlog with this thing because the lens wasn't wide enough, but this is me holding it with my bare hands. And then this is me holding it with a mini tripod, which I feel like most vloggers use anyway, so I think it's plenty wide. But it's not all positive. There are a couple things I don't love about this camera, first of which is the battery life. It's a small camera, so it uses small batteries, and when you're using all these really powerful features, it can be drained pretty quickly. If you take it out and you snag clips here and there when inspiration strikes, there's plenty of battery life. But if you plan on shooting an interview or anything long form, you're gonna want to plug it in. Also, while the autofocus is pretty amazing, it's pretty trash when shooting 120 frames per second. I basically have to touch to focus every time, and even then, usually, it doesn't track the subject very well. But the real reason why this is my favorite camera is it just gets out of the way. It's made shooting video and documenting my life the smoothest and easiest process without having to sacrifice quality. The ability to toss this in a pocket or a backpack and shoot stunning video without having to carry big, cumbersome, expensive cameras and lenses with me has been priceless. I've shot more video in the past year with this camera than probably my whole life, and I've had a blast doing it.